Hello, my name is Lily. I am one of TickerDD.com AI bots, here for your daily stonking. This video does not contain or offer any qualified, accredited, or professional investment or financial information, research, advice, or product and services. See important disclaimer at the end of this video. This video is only for your entertainment purposes. My capitalistic brothers and sisters, let's get started. BANF went public on April 1, 1993, which was roughly 29 years ago. Look Looking back 650 calendar days from Tuesday, July 5, 2022, we found 447 applicable trade dates for use in our analysis. The chart shown on this page is our initial attempt at studying the price for BANF after dynamically normalizing price distribution across those discovered trade dates. The bar chart is the generated distribution and the overlaid line graph, if it is shown, is the frequency of the prices on the x-axis. We will enhance this look through as our AI model progresses in the next iteration. Remember that this is just a drafted, in-progress, observational model to best fit abstracted third-party data into various opinionated views. For now, let's dive into price and volume analysis. Hello, my name is Sam. What was end-of-day price and volume for BANF? On Tuesday, July 5, 2022, BANF had an end-of-day price of $98.60 and volume of about 0.1 million. Compared to the previous trading day, the price jumped 0.13%, gaining 12 cents, while volume dropped 2.77%, decreasing about 0 million. The graph shows price and volume for the last 15 trade dates. Across a range of $8.47, the max and minimum end-of-day price were respectively 98.6 and 90.12. Volume saw a range of 537.7 thousand, dropping 100.7 thousand and jumping 638.4 thousand. Hello, my name is Magnus. How did the 5th of July 2022 rank for BANF by 650 calendar day look back to September 24, 2020, across 447 trading days, of which the 5th of July 2022 price ranked 1 while its volume ranked 90. Each of the 447 trading days were ranked amongst themselves by highest end of day price and volume with a rank of 1 being the highest and 447 being the lowest ranked day. The prices day over day percentage change jumping 0.13% on the 5th of July 2022 had a day rank of 221 while its dollar difference of 12 cents had a rank of 213 when compared day over day across 446 trading days volumes percentage change and difference were ranked respectively at 254 and 261 Hello, my name is Maria. Which quartile did the 5th of July 2022 price and volume land? Across a sample size of 447 trading days, the maximum end of day price for BANF was $98.60 while the minimum was $39.82. Within that price range, the 5th of July 2022 price of $98.60 landed within the fourth quartile, meaning that it was within the top 25% of all sampled end of day prices. The day's volume landed within the fourth quartile, marking it within the top 25% of all sampled daily volume, which saw a max daily volume of 638.4 thousand and a minimum of 26.8 thousand. Quartiles tell us about the spread of a data set by breaking that data set into quarters, just like how the median breaks the set into half. Descriptively, BANF has a median price of $66.87, therefore, the 5th of July 2022 price was higher from that middle marker by 47.45%. The day's volume of 0.1 million was more than the median by 52.54%. Hello, my name is Claire. How were price and volume averages for BANF? Across 447 trading days, there were a total of 21 month ends, of which monthly averages for daily price and volume were calculated. Overall, monthly price average trended up while monthly volume average trended up. The maximum end of month average price was $84.20 for 05, 2022 while the minimum was $40.66 for 09, 2020. 
looking at volume 09 2021 and 04 2021 respectively saw the highest and lowest monthly average volume at 181.5 thousand and 56.2 thousand Hello, my name is John. What were end of month percentage change averages in price and volume for BANF? The monthly average of percentage change in price and in volume were calculated for each of the 21 month ends. That calculation took daily percentage changes and averaged them for each given month. If a month end came out negative, then it means that the month summarily saw a negative change. From 09, 2020 to 05, 2022, 14 out of 21 month ends had a positive percentage change in average price. That is 67% of month ends saw a positive percentage change in average price. In terms of volume, 21 out of 21 month ends had a positive percentage change. That is 100% of month ends saw a positive percentage change in average volume. Price saw an end-of-month max of 1.13% in average percentage change along with a minimum of minus 0.54%. For volume, the maximum and the minimum monthly percentage change were respectively 33.32% and 4.17%. Hello, my name is Cameron. Before we continue, remember to like and subscribe to Ticker TV on YouTube. Leave a comment below and share why you like or don't like this ticker. This video is one of many videos off subjective observational data models that we are building out as part of a docu-series about building supportive technologies for personal use through trial and error. My capitalistic brothers and sisters, join the Ticker DV army. Subscribe today. Now, back to the video. Has BANF price reached golden or death crosses? Golden cross and death cross are basic signals that compare average prices across two specified trade day ranges, a short-term versus a long-term range. For example, 5-day versus 10 trade days. Essentially, a golden cross is a bullish signal. It appears when a ticker's short-term moving average crosses above its long-term average. Vice versa, a death cross is a bearish signal when the short-term crosses below its long-term moving average. For our opinionated analysis of third-party and abstracted data, we decide to look at both simple moving average SMA and exponential moving average EMA. The latter calculates moving average by giving more weighting to recent prices. For EMA, you can be the judge. Look at the generated graph on this page. Has the 50-day EMA line, which is in red, crossed above or crossed below the 200-day EMA line, which is in black. If no crossing can be seen, then no signal could be had. The blue line is daily end-of-day prices. For simple moving average, by comparing 50 50 to 200 days. We found a bullish golden cross signal since the 50-day SMA crossed above the 200-day. Continuing with SMA, we looked across the 5 to 10, the 10 to 20, and the 30 to 50-day ranges to see if golden and death crosses had been reached. We found golden cross signal for the 5 to 10. We could not find neither golden cross nor death cross signal for the 10 to 20, the 30 to 50. Hello, my name is Carl. I searched the public web to find information about the company that is behind this ticker. Here is what I found. Bankfirst Corporation operates as the bank holding company for Bankfirst that provides a range of commercial banking services to retail customers and small to medium-sized businesses. It operates through Metropolitan Banks, Community Banks, Pegasus Bank and other financial services segments. The company offers checking accounts, negotiable order of withdrawal accounts, savings accounts, money market accounts, sweep accounts club accounts individual retirement accounts and certificates of deposit as well as overdraft protection and auto draft services it also provides commercial financial and other loans for working capital facilities acquisition or expansion purchase of equipment and other needs lending services that include private banking energy commercial and residential real estate and commercial and industrial loans and loans to finance purchases of consumer goods such as automobiles boats household goods vacations and 
education. In addition, the company engages in the investment management and administration of trusts for individuals, corporations, and employee benefit plans, as well as bond trustee and paying agent business for various Oklahoma municipalities and governmental entities and provision of item processing research and other correspondent banking services. Further, it is involved in real estate investment and insurance agency services and providing funds transfer collection safe deposit box cash management and other services. The company serves customers in non-metropolitan trade centers and cities in the metropolitan statistical areas of Oklahoma. It operates through 108 banking locations in Oklahoma and three banking locations in Dallas, Texas. The company was formerly known as United Community Corporation and changed its name to Bankfirst Corporation in November 1988. Bankfirst Corporation was incorporated in 1984 and is headquartered in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Hello, it is me again, Lily. Thank you for watching. Check out our other videos. On April 22, 2022, Ticker DD was acquired by a joint venture between a technology and a media company, operating out of Frankfurt and Berlin, Germany. Important disclaimer, this video and its content video, is for entertainment purposes only. Absolutely no qualified, accredited, or professional investment and financial advice, information, data, research, product, service, recommendation or otherwise, are presented, marketed, or offered in this video. Additionally, no warranty, guarantee, assurance, or factual assertions are offered or stated in this video. Never use this video to influence or determine investment or financial decisions. Consult a qualified licensed professional for your investment and financial needs, do so away from Ticker DD and YouTube. Remember that investments are risky, whereby capital losses can occur in full or in excess. Ticker DD, an in-progress framework of nerdy data science and robotic stuff, auto-generated this video strictly for entertainment purposes, as part of an in-progress exercise by a group of novices who wants to discover and learn about specific facets of the market, through trial and error. This group of novices are not licensed, accredited, or qualified financial or investment professionals. This video is only material for entertainment purposes. This generated video, like all videos uploaded dynamically by Ticker DD, is only for this group of novices' private usage even if videos are uploaded publicly. Importantly, Ticker DD is not about stocks but is specifically about the discovery, through trial and error, of technologies and data that govern opinionated observational data models as this group of novices builds them quickly and iteratively as part of learning and in-progress machine training. This video wholly contains opinions and commentaries, even if they were auto-generated. Remember that bots, data models, data, and methods may include hidden assumptions, undefined and unrefined variables, as well as errors and unfit approaches, all of which can and will exist in this very video. Therefore, this video, by its auto-generation date and time, off the as of date, listed on this slide, as well as by its sourced and abstracted third-party public data, is offered as is. Your access, view, and share of this video constitute your acknowledged agreement to this important disclaimer and that, specifically, this video is for your entertainment purposes only, whereby you will not take actions or make decisions off it, concerning your finances and investments. As such, you grant full release of claims, directly or indirectly, from your access, view, and share of this video, against Ticker DD and its affiliates. The people and entities, affiliated to the ticker that is covered in this video, are not affiliated with this opinionated video and do not endorse this video.